I hope you're doing well. Welcome to welcome back. Welcome. Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Doing well? Great. Glad to hear it. I'm struggling with this intro right now. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Phoenix Red Ace Attorney. Last time we found the guy who uh murdered April May. Or not he didn't murder April May, a uh, Mia Fate, sorry. He murdered our uh, former mentor, and now he's accusing us of murder, which is just great. Fantastic. I'm ready to put this man in his place, so let's just get right into it. <laughs> yeah, today's trial day, so I think today is where it all goes down. So either I'll be found guilty of a crime I didn't even commit, or, or we take this guy down. And I'm hoping it's the second one. Oh, hi. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Wait, that's me. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Uh, Phoenix, look! Oh, hi. Prosecutor Edgeworth? I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. I raise an objection. I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. You don't think anything suspicious about what you just said. Okay, Edgeworth. What, does why I have the judge's pocket too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we established that last time. But yeah, so for anyone that missed the last time, the guy who accused us of murder, he's rigged the judge against us. Any possible lawyer we could get so we can only rely on ourselves. And the prosecution. We're screwed. So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. <clears throat> I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? How can you tell me an innocent person like this? Innocent? Yeah, I'm pretty innocent. How can we know that? I was the- Actually, no, I think that makes me look guilty. I- Saying I saw what happened, uh, kind of makes me look even more guilty. I'm gonna back up. How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. That's the entire job of a lawyer. That's the entire purpose of the courtroom, Edgeworth. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. No. You are the worst lawyer I have ever met. If I make that my policy. Edgeworth. You've changed. You've gotten dumber. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! The defense attorney isn't even here yet. I'm right here! They're not... I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this. September 9th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Yeah, that's me. I'm number one, baby. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, they will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Yeah, hmm, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Better object. He didn't even- he didn't say the- he didn't say the line. Mr. Edgeworth, you, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, he didn't want to be bullied for his really weird name. At the time, I thought Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. 
again my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Please, no, please. Don't, don't make me do this again. Here. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. <laughs> they, they call him White Boy. <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, this is Edgeworth's voice. I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corps. Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct! And you witnessed the murder from there. Man, why tell you what you already know? <clears throat> Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Oh ho ho! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, that is... I hate this guy, but that is a raw line. <laughs> Love it. I am have it, Phoenix. Witnesses account. Let's see, it was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly uh, perusifying uh, that's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was when I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Lead to say that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Aw oh, man, I like that music. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Do I not get to testify? Or not testify, uh, cross-examine? A cross-examination. Okay, good. Yes, Your Honor. About nine, I believe. Okay, uh, hey, press. How do you know what time it was? Do we know what time it was? Oh, it was about 9, wasn't it? Because I'm always absolutely perfect, you know? No, no, no. You're not getting away with that. You're so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. That's the point. <laughs> anyway, Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. And that's what Miss May said, too. Yeah, we know he wasn't there. Dude, the bellboy brought the, the cop you saw Miss May. Yeah, but he didn't see him. But he testified that he did not see you at that time. And this is your concern? Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need x-ray vision to pull up something like that. Hmm. Ellis, what were you doing at that time? I was quietly crucifying, uh, that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Okay, I think we'll just press everything. By window, you mean the one directly across from Fanko Lofts? Correct! That is the only window you see. And there you're reading papers? I'm not sure this man can read. Correct! Gatewater is a businessman's hotel and I'm a busy man who had business to do. Right, so he claims to be just a businessman doing business. Oh, I want to go back. Okay, uh... Press? Uh, Badland? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. You see, continue. 
I thought there was going to be more to that, but I guess not. Press, I turned to look at the building across the way. So you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No snoop, yeah right, you made a career out of snooping. <laughs> it was done, I saw him, a spiky hair man attacking a woman with long hair. Spike? This is not the time, Phoenix! Okay, needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. What you just said directly con conflicts with Miss May's testimony. This might clearly say that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. What is- just what is your eyesight? I know he meant like how good, but it's like, what is eyesight? Counting both eyes? 40. 40. Don't add them together. I'm- honestly, I'm just happy he can add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, who said Judge on anyway? I, I think it's very clear. His side. I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the Faye off his phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of the Fay woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. <laughs> oh, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. <laughs> okay, so he knows that much Spanish. But he doesn't understand that his friends call him White Boy. <laughs> Victim, she ran away, but you gave chase. Hmm. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Are you sure? As you know, I'm always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Press that. Are, are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? I am absolutely perfect. End of story. How many times must I hear that? Phoenix, doesn't something about that strike you as a little odd? Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Whoops. Did I would rather prep this guy too, I wonder? I meant to, uh... There's kind of weakness in there. I wanted to, uh, press that last bit. Victim ran left and you gave chase. Wait, the victim dodged an attack and ran to the right. Okay, so that that's what was weird about it. <laughs> I should have read this beforehand. Yeah! Wait right there. Mr. White. Mr. White. Yeah, that wasn't just the last episode thing. I'm doing it this time to you. Do you've dug your own grave. You triggered my trap card. What is this? So the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. He clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, ho, ho. it is simple. You have misheard her. Art record didn't. I think not. Look at the floor plans. The killer was here. And the victim here. The victim ran to the left as you claim she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Seeing that makes me endlessly happy. Very strange. I did see a run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. I was gonna say, it was, I thought he was lied because then he would have had to see me, but no. 
He saw it because he killed her. I completely forgot. So he did witness the killing, yeah. Yeah, he did. Got front row seats. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? <clears throat> that was terrible, I'm sorry. Yes, Your Honor. This may says right, Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Hmm. We believe in saves coming here. <laughs> uh, Mr. White is right. As Mr. White has testified, Mia ran to the left. But, but if that's the case, why would she run the opposite direction from the door? He did not. She was running towards the door, Your Honor. Uh, now you're the one making a contradiction, Mr. Wright. Not at all. Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the, from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Fay Co., of course. More specifically, he was standing here. I'm sure for the court, Mr. White was standing. He was standing right there. This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran for the door, he was watching from this point. To him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Yeah. Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt! Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Perhaps Scallion. The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. In indeed! They do seem a bit far-fetched. I put a lot of force behind that one, that hurt. Oh, oh, oh. You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. But now he's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, would I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. You ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left, and then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Wait. Wasn't it established last time that uh, she died from one hit? That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? Hmm, that does seem to make sense. No, it doesn't. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. He ran to the left. To the left, to the left. Miss May's correct. That testimony was correct, as was mine. Let's press that. We don't really need to. What do you mean by that? He explains it later. That's what I'm about to explain. Yeah, he was getting to that. He was salt to go, she first ran to the left. What do you mean first? First? That is what comes before what happens next. Did you speak English, right? Please sit back, relax. I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left, and then... Then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. I didn't hit anyone. I oh, don't know, Mr. Wright. There's no point hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. But yeah, this isn't... Prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Why is he mad at me? With the last of his strength, you ran to the right. 
What do you mean? Let's try this. Oh. Mr. White. The victim died from a single blow. <laughs> I love his over-the-top reaction. So, no one finds the this suspicious. No one finds this suspicious. What do you have to say to that? Mm. That's my chance to hit him where it counts. Go for the nuts! Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Mm -hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witnesses are obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. Yeah, don't give him any time to prepare. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! <laughs> I love that they're cheering, like, a crowd. Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony... The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White. Oh, okay. <laughs> the two accounts. Sorry, uh, um, well, see, I would looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. What thing? The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then... She turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Hmm, thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. I am giving my voice a break from that real quick. Mr. Your Honor. My stomach, you see. It is hurting. Deal with it? Oh, God. <laughs> nice, Phoenix. This is almost over. He's squirming. He's squirming in his boots. His overpriced knockoff boots. Yeah, I looked at the other one when I heard that thing fall. You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Oh, uh, that, uh, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Thank you. Yeah, very odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Uh, what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. I found my voice form again. Witness will revise his testimony. I feel like if you have to revise your testimony after so many times, you should just be kicked out. Okay, okay, of course. Light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Eh? The glass stand was lying on the floor. That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? Why, why me? Well, well, I was instructed not to. Wait. <laughs> One moment. Give me a moment to gather my thoughts. I am so, so confused. Why oh, it's falling apart. Is no one going to jump on the fact that he said that he was ordered not to say anything? Objection. Your Honor, please. I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. Wright. Please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. Phoenix with the steel chair. Very well, the witness will may continue his account. And the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. I think we'll- wait. I think I pressed this before, actually. Miss Mia- Wait, did you know the victim personally? No, 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 triple no. How would I? How could I? I see nothing about the witness knowing the name of the victim. 
Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness. So, no badgering, no harrying. What's next? The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. I'm, I keep giving him Edward's voice, I don't know why. Hold on. Now, before, you said she was hit before she ran. Yes, I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned and ran for the door. Hmm. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. <laughs> Is this really how he goes down? No, no, not me. The, the killer, I mean. He gave chase. Objection! Mr. Wright, please try to remain calm. Please do not incriminate yourself in court, Mr. White. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Oh, oh right, thank you, Miles. He literally said he did it! He said he did it! Then he did it with a single blow. The whap. The whap indeed. The whap? That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. It's just a sound effect, Phoenix. Oh, oh yes, well, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. Probably afraid I'll catch him on something. But it won't be easy. I said I was lying on the floor when I looked. Yeah, we should press about the light stand. No, I, I meant present something. Okay, let's check the floor plans as well. So, over by the door... Alright, so at the bottom, this is where you could see, right? Um, yeah, because of the window, yeah. So there's the door. So the light. This is the light stand. Wait. I don't think he would have been able to see the light stand fall. Or maybe he just barely would have. Hmm. But wait, he's... He said he wasn't looking until it made the sound. So... He wouldn't have seen it after it fell. He couldn't have been able to. Because it was on the ground. And I think that would run out of you. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. Look at this photo with a gra- These are the- These are the floor pants that have seen the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you'd be able to see. Here. Well? Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken charge as a glass light stand. Oh, right, didn't the other thing say it was broken beyond... No, it said beyond repair, I think. So when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fey Law Offices. In other words, you went to see a crime when the murder took place. <laughs> yes! It's all coming together. Mr. White? Mr. White. Mr. White, you did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia. And it looks like we're about to get our verdict. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Why is my, th why is it playing now? Did you just hijack my theme? What? I forgot about Edgeworth. Oh, he's standing right across from you. Mr. White, 
I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? W what? It's still Bob even when it's not my theme. <laughs> I said you should confess your crime. Echo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. But Miss May already confessed that she did it. But the wiretap. Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to me explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. Really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered the secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices in Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor. The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you went to- He didn't do it! You went to Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? Correct! You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the fan call offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. It was Miss Faye that did it. Now I'm confused. Please explain the court what all this means, Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was the murderer. I, I see. However, it is the fact that Mr. White has been, had been to the office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. At go, Phoenix Wright theory is revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. You will stop shining in the light of the courtroom. Ahem. Leave it to me. I, I feel faint. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the fan call offs. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over, by the sound. Correct! That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Now, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. <laughs> I love that she says good luck, like, you're so screwed. Wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Press. Mm -hmm. Do you have proof? Objection. Sapo Mame knew the details of Miss Faye's phone, uh, phone conversation. Phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. You had entered the Faye and Cole offices. No, you didn't. Was it really you that went in the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days over found in the fan call ops. Wait, so if fingerprints are left for a long enough time, they can be like unidentifiable? I wonder if that's a thing or if he's just making that up. Those are obviously Mr. White's. Because I would have figured he could have matched those to his fingerprints. That is if you're actually trying to catch him. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the fan call offices. Of course! I had done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me his phone? Uh, but this has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. 
You have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That's why I saw this glass light stand. I'm gonna press that. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. It's such a beautatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. Oh, wait, that was the end of his... Oh. I didn't realize that was the end of his, uh... Testimony. Sorry, I completely forgot the word. I'm afraid that as far as... As far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come to admit your defeat. You fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? Ye yes Your Honor. Phoenix! Phoenix, over here! I know that voice. Wait. Mia? Hi! Ah, what are you doing here? Never give up, Phoenix! Mia... Did that just collapse on the floor? <laughs> am I joining Mia? Where where am I? The waiting lobby. What happened? Oh right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Uh I don't think you're I don't think you're hallucinating still. Ah, you're finally awake. Ah! And he's dead. Hey, Phoenix! That's no way to create an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. You're... Maya? Didn't know the Fate Women have strong psychic powers? Of course! Of course they do! Alright, that was explained earlier. I completely forgot. That was that was explained, but still. What what is happening? This was all a normal case, and then suddenly there's a ghost in front of me. When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right. I'm Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have the receipt in the court record, right? Receipt? Thinker, wiretap... Receipt. Oh! I, for some reason, I didn't realize it was a receipt that never clicked. Even though it said receipt. Yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. $1,000. Wow, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Data purchase, September 4th. September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. Bought that stand the day before I was killed. Right. So wait, he... That means he couldn't have seen it because it didn't exist until uh, the day before the murder. And if he went the week before, he definitely wouldn't have seen it. Whoa. Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. They saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Receipt? Receipt updated in the court record. September 9th, 1.16pm, District Court, 
Courtroom number one. We're back to being number one, baby. <laughs> Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather... Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. Cross-examination of Mr. Wright is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. May begin your cross-examination. We know exactly what we're about to do. Week before the murder? No. Objection! Objection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Aha, you're grasping. I think not. Get my theme back. This is mine, not yours. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Do none of us think to do that? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And a day of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. <laughs> you see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the fair in Colossus at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. <laughs> well, Mr. White? Can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, you're, well, Your Honor? I understand there must be a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then that is all for the trial of... Objection! Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? No way can he warn me... No way can he warn his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain threat of logic to the defendant's claims. However... There's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. There's no concrete proof that I'm guilty! There's... That's not how that... Well... Ergo... I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry. This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Yeah, we're objecting to that. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? Anyone's going to call Mr. White's trial. It, will, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edward's are sure to come up with, come up with, or just make up something. After Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Ugh. The witness will stay. Mia? Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo received from Mia. A list of people's names in Mia's handwriting. Your Honor, if I may. 
You're quite persistent. <clears throat> You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. It would be really funny if we read anything else, but I can't do it. Memo the memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop, desist, halt! Please, stop. Make him stop. Oh, how did you get that list? Mr. White. Admit your guilt right here, right now. Is there anyone going to comment on how different Mia looks? Or Maya? Because she looks pretty different. And uh, that doesn't just happen in 15 minutes. Unless you're, like, wearing stilts. Uh, or else this list will be released to the press. I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The Thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. Edgeworth <laughs> is so pissed! Good. Well, I see no reason to further prolong this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, yes, Your Honor? You've done it again! That was quite a spirit of defense! Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say- I guess you could say that. If only knew how spirited it was. Uh, <laughs> mm, well, the court finds the defense. <clears throat> the defendant. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. <laughs> that is all. Court is adjourned. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky, I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. And Maya. Yeah, I risked my entire life. I was just facing the chair. I won't forget it as long as I live. Uh, as long as you live? Uh, my time here is running out. So I won't be remembering for long. Huh? Ice powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Chief. I'm not Chief anymore. <laughs> Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. I thought we were just co-workers. I don't know what's going on here. Chief! Mia! September 9th, 9 and 2 p.m. Fan Cola office. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. I was kind of worried you might not. Oh, of course I can. Well then. Pretty hungry. How about a burger? Mia? <laughs> you should see your face. Mia? Nope. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What, did I look like my sister? You did earlier. Look, look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Can I go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Uh, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. Ian Bia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Aw. Hey! But aw. <laughs> Take care of... Aw? He means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Red and Cola offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. I know, in second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya, you're ready to get down to business. You, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's... It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? 
you know what this means? We're partners. Partners in crime? Haha. <laughs> you know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Ring Colossus. Got a good ring to it. It does. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. So, what? I'll always be here, watching. Aww. That's, that's kind of bittersweet. I like it. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Do what? Burgers, dummy burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. I could go for a burger. Come on, time's a-wasting. Okay, wait up. The end. Man, that was fun. Brand new episode has been added. Okay, that looks like a lot going on. Okay, I'm going to save that for next time. We successfully uh, defended ourselves against Red White. We finally brought in justice after all he's put people through. With the power of friendship and ghosts, I'm still confused on where, how we got here. I don't know what's in store for the next case. It, the, the cover screen looked like a lot, but it's called Turnabout Samurai, so I'm hoping there's at least a samurai in it somewhere. Do we have to, like, defend a samurai? Oh, that would be cool. Wait, it's... It's America. <laughs> there are no... Actually, are there... I don't know. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one, y'all.